Hello, thank you for tuning in. Welcome or welcome back. Today we are gonna start where I left in the last video. You will see how I took the last photos, how I was wandering around down underground, the underground in Oslo. That is pretty cool to take photos in. In this video you will see it in more POV style and I'm still using the JCH Street Pan 400 film. So I have put in some effects and smileys to make it a little bit more funny because this is one of those times that you don't have that video you needed to get out on Sunday but you try to make the best out of what you have in your storage yeah so this is one of those videos I have tried to make it a bit fun so I hope you will enjoy it and let me know in the comments below if you want a specific type of video in the future. I'm thinking about what should I do next. I have some ideas in mind, but it's always nice to hear from you. Maybe you have a topic you want me to go into. If it's photography, videography, you name it, or some challenge you want me to do comment below and maybe I make a video about it next time but enough chit chatting let's go So do you stand still and waiting for the right moment to push the trigger or are you just wandering around? Sometimes I stand still and hope that that golden good moment that I can capture a candid moment is coming. And as you see, sometimes you just staying there on the spot and hoping and nothing is happening. So that was a big failure. No, I'm gonna try in a new station in Oslo, in the underground, in the city central. That got a little bit too dark but you need to go forward and try more you're not 
finding out how you can get that right shot if you're going home and think oh that was a bad shot no i'm going home no push forward and try more try it new films use your analog camera with new film rolls use your dig digital camera and play around with presets yeah try different photo style and find your vibe i'm trying to find my vibe now i'm into analog photography and digital i don't know what i'm ending up with so i'm trying everything and maybe i have some thoughts what i'm gonna do forward but i'm not revealing that in this video but yeah the main point is go around be creative don't stop if you fail with a photo then go to the next corner and try and take a new photo it's by doing you are getting better this thing this night that I was very interesting in some garbage uh, I don't know I took some photos of some garbage cans and yeah I think it turns out quite funny I have been thinking why I was so interesting in taking photos this night of garbage cans and yeah i have thought about it and do you want to know this was a late sunday night and the next day in the early morning i was going to go to the hospital and do a big surgery it's with be turning around my life for sure and I was pretty scared because the operation was big the surgery is not um, what can I say uh, a4 surgery it was complicated and I was pretty scared how this will go so maybe i was thinking some negative thoughts and i was in that vibe that why not take photos of garbage cans yeah that's my best answer so i think maybe we are taking photos in the mood we are and i was going out this night to clear my mind and try to think of other things and do something I love before I was going into the hospital so yeah I think you take photos out of which mood you are in so if you are with creative people and you have a lot of fun going on in life you will have some positive photos and the other way as this day
So the smile is representing me and my thoughts up those stairs because I was thinking about everything and nothing and that's life sometimes. But the best thing is to do something you love and be creative and you get in that positive vibe again. So have you tried analog photography, film photography, or do you just shoot digital? Let me know in the comments below because I really want to hear what you think about this. Do you think it's the digital that is right now or do you think should slow down and that you are enjoying the time it takes to develop your photos in a dark room or delivering your film roll to a lab and scanning and doing those things that you need to do when you are shooting analog. I really want to hear what your thoughts are, so yeah, leave a comment below and as always I will answer every question and every comment that is coming in my videos. So let's wrap up this video and have some fun in the end of the video. I will as always share a shout out section for the community, the pure nordic community on instagram and vero. So yeah, enjoy the last fun part and until next time, see ya! Maybe I left a blooper at the end, I'm not sure. <laughs> Just watch the end. Hey! <laughs> so this is the last part the film roll is full I need to change it if I'm gonna shoot some more on this Yashica T5 if you want bloopers gossip and other stuff, POVs that I am not posting on the main channel, go in and become a member. It costs $2 as it is now and you get new content. To join 
the pure community here on YouTube, you need to press that button. It says join beside the subscribe button. I want to say so much things about this YouTube membership. It's just a way that you can support creatives that you think is fun, that gives you joy and yeah. Some cost $100, some cost $50. My membership is costing $2 a month. You can cancel it anytime. It's no membership that you need to be there in 12 months. But thank you if you want to support me. It means a lot. I will do a special thank you to Clark. Clark from Superman from Batman, no Superman, yeah. Charles, are you there a member for eight months months now? Yeah, you have that special batch on the side of your name that you can get if you are a member for a long time. And it's on other benefits that is good too. So yeah enough about that membership join if you want to support and if you don't want leave a like subscribe and hit that bell and until next time see ya